school can be very tough, but if you think about it, it was much harsher back in the 1950s for our grandparents. Hello everyone, my name is Samantha Long, and I'm currently wearing the uniform from the 1950s. Let's check it out. School really isn't that harsh. I mean, just ask my grandparents. And I went to Bulawayo Convent and I was there for three and a half years. And the, the nuns were Dominican and they were very strict. Well, we had to be in school at quarter to nine. And we knocked off at quarter to four. And there were thousands of different rules. You couldn't do this, you couldn't do that. Had to have our uniform at a certain length. The dresses had to be, I think, below the knee. Um, in the winter, we had to wear horrible thick brown stockings, and we had to wear a hat, which is like a beige felt hat with a blue hat band. And this had to be worn at all times outside of school. Well, the schools were segregated. The boys on one side of the school, and the girls on the other side. And. Uh, when you were young, you didn't go to dances or things like that. You probably met sometimes in sport or in the neighbourhood, but you really did things with girls in the school. Well, we didn't. Apart from our ballroom dancing lessons, we didn't mix with the opposite sex. Just an all-girls school. And what about when I went? And later on, when I was 13 and a half, my parents moved back to England, and I went to another all-girls school, which is called St Bernard's Convent. And Helen Mirren, the actor, she also went to that school, but she was about three years younger than me. No, I just didn't. Uh, I wish I'd stayed at Adelaide High School, which we hadn't moved from Adelaide. But I went back to night school and I did uh, matriculation at night school, which was a good experience. Well, we used to go. Um, I, did, I wasn't very sporty, but I used to love ball and dancing. When I was 13, I was allowed to go to ballroom classes on a Sunday, Saturday morning with my girlfriend. And we used to sit in, in this, it's called Mackenzie's Ballroom Dancing. And all the girls would sit inside, and the boys would be outside, and then ran down. As the boys, one boy at a time, walked in, the teacher would pick out a girl for him to dance with. When I was 14, rock and roll see you later alligator and all the girls used to jive on the netball court and the boys from the school next door would look through the gates and the nuns would chase them away with her umbrella. I met Nana at a dance on a Sunday night at Greenacres Church, it's a Catholic dance. I wasn't a Catholic, but she was. I met her in the Canadian barn dance. I saw her first in the Canadian Barn Dance and I went hunting for her afterwards. I met my husband at a Catholic, I used to be allowed to go to a Catholic dance on a Sunday night. And one night I was there and we were doing the Canadian Barn Dance and he was coming around the Canadian Barn Dance and um, he saw me and uh, he liked we, he liked each other. and. That was it. He asked me out, and that was it. I was only 17. She turned around and said, yes. I've never forgotten that. Oh. I left school too young. I was only 15, and my biggest regret was that I didn't stay out of school and get some further education. But in those days, you know, they didn't think of girls going to uni and that, like they do now. And I was offered quite a good job in a, the telephone accounts office. And so um, when I was 15, I left school and I started work, which I always regretted. I wouldn't... No, I would think in some ways it might have been more effective, but uh, there were a lot of really badly trained teachers, but a lot of the teachers these days have seemed to have lost control. I think it's much more fun now. But it's not as disciplined, is it? Mm, probably not as disciplined. I mean, 
we didn't have the interaction with the teachers that you have now, but it was um, it was much stricter. But I, I think I think it's much better now. I think and it's much more value. And you stay at school longer, and girls, and you all go. To, you know, you work. You get a better education. I mean, I I left school far too young, and I you know I didn't I didn't feel as if I learnt enough. So I think it's much better now. They learn not only from books. They also learn how to become good citizens, able to earn their living. Girls, for instance, enjoy domestic science, boys carpentry, metalwork, and so on. The children's bodies, as well as their minds, are developed to full health and strength. They receive regular medical examination. General health is noted. Defective eyesight and teeth are attended to. Good meals are prepared in modern kitchens, and in case of need... Good day. So, in conclusion, yes, school of nowadays is better. Because we're allowed to study independently, it's not sexist, it's not racist, people are equal, and girls are allowed to attend uni nowadays. Back then they didn't think of girls going to uni, which was really unfair. But if you come to think of it, whatever time you're from, whenever you studied in school. You'll remember it for a lifetime, whether it be good memories or bad memories. But at the end of the day, school is just school, and we're here to learn. This is Samantha Long, signing out. Good day, and keep learning.